Hello, my name is Dr. Art Rastonhead, and I'd like to thank BJUI for allowing us to present our work today as a video abstract. Our study sought to evaluate the diagnostic potential of a multiparametric MRI and targeted biopsy in men with a prior negative prostate biopsy. Our study consisted of 140 men with a previous negative biopsy and a positive multiparametric MRI. We sought to compare the cancer detection rates between the two approaches, as well as the impact of a multiparametric MRI scoring system on the detection of cancer, as well as clinically significant prostate cancer. Approximately 82% of cancers detected by targeted biopsy alone were missed because the 12 core biopsy did not sample the anterior fibromuscular muscular stroma and or the central gland. This is a chart displaying the cancer detection rates for different biopsy approaches in patients with prior negative biopsies. As stated before, the cancer detection rate with one prior negative biopsy is approximately 18% if you repeat a 12 core. This is almost three times lower than what we detected in our group using MRI to select patients to undergo a targeted biopsy. As you see, where the imaging is utilized, there's an increase in cancer detection rates. This is an example of an MR ultrasound fusion guided biopsy. The top screen is your real-time ultrasound, and your bottom screen is your previously obtained MRI with a targeted lesion on the top part of the prostate. Once fusion has been confirmed to be adequate, a needle is then advanced two centimeters in the gland before firing to allow us to reach the top portion of the gland. We're able to fire the biopsy needle through the lesion as seen here, and then record the trajectory and the location of the core that was sampled in 3D space, which allows us to review our findings with our radiologist. As now we move to the sagittal view, we'd like to confirm that we still have good fusion because sometimes the prostate moves as well as the patient during the biopsy. See that red outline? That represents the segmentation from the MRI that's overlaid on the real-time ultrasound. Once we've confirmed that we have good segmentation, we will perform the second biopsy. In this series, we took two biopsies, one from the axial and one from the sagittal plane. The second, the biopsy needle is again advanced approximately two centimeters into the gland, as shown here. We usually do this through a quick stabbing motion to allow the biopsy needle to penetrate the capsule and be able to be placed to the superior portion of the gland, as seen here. The next, the biopsy is then sampled and recorded. This is a chart demonstrating the cancer detection rates in men undergoing MR ultrasound fusion guided biopsies who have had at least one prior negative biopsy. At first glance, one will consider that there's different cancer detection rates from institution to institution. This is not correct. You must take into account the positive MRI rate. When you control for this, the cancer detection rates amongst all the groups is similar. Table 4 compares the performance of the standard 12 core biopsy to the fusion biopsy. The 12 core biopsy missed more clinically significant disease. In the 4.4% of patients that were missed by the fusion biopsy, these were small, low volume Gleason 3 plus 4 cancers. There were no primary pattern 4s missed. In conclusion, MR ultrasound fusion guided biopsy takes advantage of the fact that the MRI is able to identify suspicious lesions. We're able then to target these areas. Comparing the 12 core to the fusion biopsy, the fusion biopsy outperforms the 12 core biopsy. However, as mentioned, 4.4% of cancers were missed by the fusion biopsy approach if it was performed alone. At this point, we still recommend a patient undergo the standard of care as well as a targeted biopsy. As the data matures, we may be able to set acceptable thresholds for missing cancers to optimize our biopsy platforms and approach for patients with a suspicion of prostate cancer. In our series, the cancer detection rate was three times what one of it would have expected if we repeated a standard 12 core biopsy alone without an MRI selecting patients for biopsy. It's always important to understand that the quality of the multiparametric MRI and its interpretation can affect your results. Thank you so much for your time and attention during this short presentation of our work.